You know, Glimora might just be what I was looking for when I was seeing a rock and poisons out for the first time. Not to take away anything from the Lego, but that said, like, Glimora just... It's something kind of more alien with it than the Halego, and as it stands, it makes for me at least a superb Pokemon by all rights. Um, that said, it is a Pokemon that has a lot of bull to offer, and it also threatens a lot of opposing Pokemon. First and foremost, 83 in HP is quite good, 90 and 81 is the representative defenses. While not incredible, I think this is a solid bulk for it. Combine that with extremely low attack. 55, yeah, you, you're not gonna use Stone Edge in this, I'll tell you guys that already, but 130 in Special Attack, this will sting, and it will sting badly, like a lot badly, and that's 86 in speed, so not only it has it some proper defenses, but it can also hurt you real bad, and it might actually be able to outspeed you to hurt real bad, so overall, Glamora's stat division in my book is phenomenal. Now the typing itself is it's not perfect, and I think it's worth mentioning that Poison and Rock, while scary offensively, is scary defensively too, as water will definitely hurt you, ground will kill you with four times, psychic is effective, steel is effective. Uh, thing is, I don't believe it's a terrible defensive typing, but you take a lot of neutral hits. And it's always going to be an issue, and the ground maybe stands out a bit more, and even more so as it can't magnetize. I think this is a Pokemon that, while it has a good utility and it's speed enough to maybe not get hit, it's definitely unfortunate to be forced to be worried about it. Or yet, bullet punches, and of course, the obvious one, uh, earthquake. However, where it shines is in its abilities. First and foremost, it gets corrosion. Corrosion is a very unique ability, as it is one of the few abilities that allow poisons type to poison other poison Pokemon, so Toxic is kind of great on it, but it has another utility that I think is going to be more sought after, and it is the Toxic Debris, which basically is Toxic Spikes once you're hit for the physical move. If you can predict a U-turn and you know, switch in and soak that, then you got Toxic Spikes on your poison opponent's field. That could be very annoying. Combine that with this Pokemon actually being able to set multiple types of hazards, and all of a sudden, this become extremely unique suicide lead slash just supporter for your know, status effects and um, hazards. So overall, I, th I think this is a very scary option. Well, I like corrosion of his great ability. He got nothing on toxic debris. So when it comes to his move pool, he got a few really nice options. Well, I think toxic spikes is redundant. Um, you do get mortal spin, which I think is a great ability as it will, well guarantee poison your opponent but also if you have yet gotten seated or whatever or binded or whatnot you're now out and can switch out and uh, you get spike a shield which i think is a great option if um you want to just ship your opponent i think being able to toxic an opponent and then spike a shield and force them to stay in and take even further more damage is incredible you get acid spray which could be important if you just gonna you know keep on going at it uh, you also get two really strong moving power gym and Sludge Wave, which is probably its main moves. I do believe Venoshock could be capitalized also. Um, if you get a Toxic Debris and the switches go, and I think Venoshock will overall be a more superior move, but Sludge would be more you know, reliable. And of course, Stealth Rock. We need Stealth Rocks on our, on our Rock Pokemon. Big moves themselves aren't necessarily all that important, but like I mentioned with Corrosion, as the Mortal Spin doesn't Toxic your Steel type, the Toxic will, so it's an important move for that type of set. You also get Explosion, which probably is redundant, but you also get Memento. I think Memento, together with Stealth Locks and Toxic Debris, can be a good combination, and just get out, just set your hazards, and then you're good to go, run it with Sash. I think it's a phenomenal option, I'm, I think it's very strange how, how, how well this might actually work. <laughs> However, Glimora's TM list might actually be the one that kind of solves it. Um, the main issue is, of course, having rock and poison will mean that other rock types pretty much will laugh at you with this set. And to an extent, I would say also that ground type will laugh at you. And that's not a combination you want. It, it really isn't. So an option here is Energy Ball or Earth Power. I think Energy Ball is a superior option just to really dent those ground types. Um, you also get flash cannon, um, you get spikes, you know, more hazards, of course you get it all, just get it out of the way. Uh, <laughs> you also get dual screen, which I think is kind of nice on it. Um, 
And of course, Rock Tomb, Iron Defense, you don't want to use the Acid Armor or whatnot. But overall, like, while this isn't like extremely broad list of moves, it does get what I would say are the significant one. And uh, combine that with it's now can run three types of hazards thanks to Toxic Debris. It I might only use two of them and still be just fine. Together with Energy Balls, be able to really hurt the ground and rock types that might actually want to come into this guy. And you got close to perfect Pokemon. I think you got a level between Earth Power and Energy Ball, mainly because Steel types is also an issue. I don't want to <laughs> make that an oversight. But that, that's where we're looking at. Those are the mods that are going to be of significance. Now, is there a point of threat lies in this Pokemon? You get a maybe from me. I think if you can Terra Blast yourself and become a water type, I think you solve a lot of issues with this Pokemon could face. If you keep the combination, you get neutral damage on the steel types and you hurt the ground and rock types that might want to deal with you, and you get a good defensive type. And remember, you have no type of recovery, so that's always going to be an issue. But I think water types solves a lot. I also think growing into a ground type could solve some of this too with Terra Blast. And, but you could also use Runner Power as you, know, you don't necessarily need to wrap that move in case you don't need to terraform to you know, defensively shake yourself from the south. And, but overall, I don't believe it's a perfect Pokemon to terrestrialize. But if you have the options, those are the ones I'm seeing being somewhat effective. When it comes to sets, um, we have everything that I think makes sense. For example, I could easily see a Suicide Lee with Focus Sash, just status or Toxic Debris, Stealth Rock Spikes, uh, Memento, and then maybe a filler move for damage or even Explosion if you really just don't want to be in anymore. It's speed enough to set up one to two sets of hazards, and I think Focus Sash allows the potential Suicide Leads that are ground types to not be a potential issue. Now. There could be a rapid spinner in there for sure, and you can also face a Dawn fan that will not make this set work all that well. But at the same time, you can run something like Energy Ball to have that filler move go in and hurt Dawn on the get go. So, overall, I think that's the easiest set to use. When it comes to the more offensive sets, I, I kind of like the idea of a mixed attacker with Life Orb or even running something. You know, I'm a big fan of Sugar Berry, I think it's kind of fun. What if. I survive this earth power and actually retaliate. I think Assault Vest works well with this too. I think the typing allows it to be somewhat defensive. And if you have some, an opponent or I mean um, a teammate like you powered on to boost your special defense, this could be quite annoying of a Pokemon to take down. And 130 special attack kinda kinda just solves most of the matchups for you. Um, I could even see running specs and just hurt stuff. <laughs> Switch on a U-turn and just fire away. I'll think it'd be just fine. Um, I really like this Pokemon, I think it has a lot of utilities, and while the Retalizing might not be the most solid option, it is one, if not the best hazard stacker for this generation, from this generation's so overall. I think um, Glamour has a fantastic Pokemon, and I really hope to see it more online in the future. So that's it, as all guys for watching, make sure to write down below which Pokemon you want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.